Hello there. Today I am going to start with the problem set 4 which is all about the libraries. And I am going to discuss the very first problem called Emozyes. I have already created the solution videos for problem set 0, 1, 2 and 3. If you have not watched it, I will give the link in the description box. You can go and check it out. Okay, here it is the problem. And I am here into the Emozyes directory. Let us first understand the problem statement. The problem states that we as a programmer we have to write a program that is going to accept the input from the user and convert that into an emoji. And the list of the emojis are given over here. Uh, no, not here. I think this is oh, here. Yeah, you see. So if I write something like this, then output should be this. If I, for example, write colon third underscore place underscore medal again colon then it should be the, out, the output should be like this so this is it comparatively easy problem the very first requirement for this problem is that we have to install pip install emoji and let me copy this whole line and jump into here you go into terminal and put it over here i have already completed this course uh, so this is already as you can see it over here i have already cleared so it is already installed into my system but still i'm going to show it to you mm, here you see that defaulting the user is not right table so requirement is already satisfied it means that everything is fine we can start with the program the very first thing that I am going to do here is that I am going to import the library called emoji. Then I am going to accept the user input and store it into a variable called user input. Input. Okay. And then if you come to the library here, it is again, if you open this link, then you will get this, uh, come to this point here. Yeah. So if you see this line, print emoji emoji python is thumbs up. I am going to pick up this line and I will tell you the reason why. Okay, let me start with this line here. I am going to write the same line here. Only difference is that instead of this hard coding python is thumbs up, I am going to write there the user input. So instead of this hard coding it here let me replace it with user input okay i should have oops my mistake and one more user input this is it if i run this program what happens here is that let us jump into the demo video here i am taking the very first example which is colon thumbs underscore up again colon so let me write it over here thumbs up and i am not getting any output oh my mistake here i should not have put it in within the quotes now it should be running fine thumbs Here you see we are getting this symbol now the problem here is that if i check the second input the here if you check it out it is colon thumbs up colon there is no underscore in between so let me copy it and pass this parameter over here and i am getting thumbs up so that is why I'm going to copy the second part of this here language is equal to alias as well and then we are going to have it properly here even for the second case. So comma and then I am giving it here. Now let us check. First I am going to check the first one with the oh, wrong spelling thumbs up. Okay then the second input was thumbs 
up here you see it is without under a score here I have given an underscore between thumbs and up and here there is no underscore and it is giving me still the the sign let's check some other example hello earth Africa mm, let me copy it the whole stuff from here clear the screen run the program again I am going to paste it and here you see how it is coming up here let us check couple of more examples hello earth America and here you see how it is now let me copy this line again and go to our program here you see hello and this is how it is let us check one or two examples from here for example if I go and copy this line and run our program let us see clear the terminal I am getting this type of emoji which is matching here so I think that should be enough I believe that we now we can we are good to go for the checks for CS50 oops what did I do let me copy the whole thing and come over here clear the terminal paste it uh, while the time it is checking the results <laughs> let me tell you I have started coming up with videos related to Python basics I have already covered their strings methods related to strings lists methods related to lists tuples and the related methods I will share the link of the Python basics playlist also into the description box where you can <laughs> check it them out so waiting for the result I am hoping all in green now oh, it's taking a bit of time bear with me please okay here you can see everything is in green it means that our program has passed all the CS50 checks so we are good to submit so if you find this video useful please consider giving it a like subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are pursuing CS50 for Python till that time happy coding